Hello everyone, and um, welcome back to La Molana 2. I'm Ranyakma, Dark is here with me to watch Yo. me suffer as usual. And we are finally, finally, after quite a few delays, going in here. I mean, this is a trippy place. And immediately getting a glossary entry. Red Cap, warriors of the fifth children referred to as midgets. They are considered small even among their own kind. They look as if they are wearing red caps, so the name stuck. In truth, they are wearing helmets, doused in the blood of defeated enemies. Pleasant. Totally. The gate of the dead was created to seal their mark. It leverages mystic and and it means to warp space. It connects the warp space of the red gate. Oh, well, I guess I'm not getting there. Wait, am I lost? Not a problem. I know just the right thing to do. You put all hold the hold right trick. Huh? Everything's spinning. <laughs> Indeed it is. Yeah, be careful, you can get just get crushed by that bot. Hey then. They can be really annoying to hit. And yeah, we don't have a map. Whoops. I'm just gonna switch to... Yeah, sure, that won't do anything. First things first. This place looks familiar. Screenshot saved. It's saved. Screenshot saved. And it was at the entry. Asp. Asps look like long legged wood lice. They are, in fact, a type of snake. Very shrewd, their movements do not resemble those of a snake. They are said to be, they are said to be a spell that, which can halt their movements. That spell is now apparently lost. Hmm. Of course. But am I also right side up? Um, how helpful. That makes more sense when you enter the opposite door. At the moments, hmm. I'm upside down. Okay then. So you know, this door is it's upside down, and then there is right side up. You might have noticed these steps of the star, their styler have two directions. Hmm. Take another screenshot. You must be in the right space or the task at hand will not work in your favor. Yeah, you might notice I pressed the switch and the chest is not open. That's because the chest is upside down. <laughs> Hello, Dot. Each generation of children has been sealed off into the branches to ensure that they do not allow their respective words to spill over into the outside world. They were sealed away long, long ago, but now a race of six children known as the Locapala have taken control of Yggdrasil. We have no intention of leaving this place either. If you plan to seal off Eglana, then I will tell you this. Many things in Eglana have been sealed off with the power of the mantras. Most of the powerful mantras are hidden. I know the words used, used to call upon the mantra of the moon. The word is sun, the moon's opposite. Mm -hmm. yeah, I remember. 
Yeah. It doesn't hint you need later for, well, to get them under the moon, obviously. Hello, you. Remember those guys? A mask worn by royalty of the fifth children at the time of their burial. Legend states that if the deceased held severe grudges during their lifetime, the mask itself would return to the world of the living. Okay then. I find it amusing that we've gone from Viking mythology to Egyptian mythology. I mean, we did that in the first game too. Yes, but it was a bit different. Each... Well, in the previous... In the first game, each area had a specific uh, theme. But in this one, like, the entire f first three or four areas is just pure Viking. Even that the very center of Eglana is Yggdrasil? Yeah. We oh. Nekbet. That's female, apparently. Many survivors of the fifth children were combined with animals and turned into Chimera using technology of the Sky People. Nekbet was once a with human form. However, her enemy, the Amara, transformed her into a bird for having deceived them. Sounds like they were salty. Maybe. Speaking of which... Oh, Thoth! Thoth. Be gone, Thoth! Thoth is a sage and the Ennead patron of knowledge. He used this knowledge to support former ruler Osiris. Now he has resigned from the ruling class, sharing knowledge amassed by the fifth children with Horus and Isis, among others. He lived through the splitting of the races, the pyramids, and the art of reviving the dead came up through his research. Hmm. Fucking Horus! That's a different Horus, I think. You're saying he had nothing to do with the Horus heresy? Maybe. But hey, we got another sacred door. Let's look at this. The, a white pedestal lies in the room of the holy tablet. Seek the sigil buried within the wall. A white pedestal, huh? There's a scannable thing there. Womp. Hmm. I should probably be careful what I hit. A med gem. An incarnation of death said to have been left behind by Osiris, Lord of the Underworld and the Fifth Children. It has a body like claw, and with its eyes alone visible, and is, and is said act as the eyes of Osiris himself in the Underworld. Hmm. Strange creature. Yep. The Viceroy Artifact is the embodiment of the power of weaponry. It brings out the true strength of weapons health. Every time a weapon is thrown, its power will manifest itself. There's a weapon thing there. Oh, there and is. a sigil we don't have. Right? Right. Nothing we can do here at the moment. Well, um, I found the holy tablet. Hmm. It only goes outside and not. Maybe I can... Uh, what a strange place. No, I can't really make it that way. Uh, the Dark Star Lord's mausoleum, the branch in which the Amarna reside. 
The gate that leads there is sealed by four white pedestals. The pedestals slay by judgment against those who dare to place things on them. They will only respond to a weight so slight as to go unnoticed. When I'm done looting these ruins, I'm gonna go home and put a ring on the hottest girl in school. Yeah, how did that go for you? I don't feel like that quite worked out. Isis. This is where we and Ned, who sealed, who sealed away the Amarna for their wicked ambition, live. This is where we, fifth children, have been exiled to, and where we continue to wage war. Rad, the leader of the Amarna, claims to be the personification of the sun, and continues to amass power. Ra and his followers plan to use this power to free themselves from the mother's influence and escape from Eglana. We no longer have the power to keep them sealed. Why have you come here? To the Fitra! Four white seals have been applied to the Dark Star Lord's mausoleum where Ra resides. Break all white seals and the gate of the Dark Star Lord's mausoleum shall open. Two of the seals are in the Unicorn's room and the Room of Dark Night. The remaining two have been hidden as to never be found. Keep those two in mind. Not like we have a map yet. Oh yeah. That's the other outfit. Oh hey, we made it back here. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Well done. Actually, I would like to do this. You know, the holy tablets here. Yeah. That might be sort of kinda relevant. Just need to, you know, turn things around. This is the gate of the dead, the land where the pyramid that leads to the sky is sealed. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and save. Oh, hey, bottom. And you know, the chest is upside down, so it doesn't display being open, but it's open. <coughs> okay. Yeah, as long as it works, right? This part of this uh, opened so, so I wasn't sure how how deep I could push it in. <laughs> yeah, that. There we go. A white pedestal lies in a room of five statues. Speak the words that represent Ra. Do we have the mantra of the sun? No, not like it really matters. <laughs> anyway, this is open now. Hey, it's the map. Of course it's a skull. Yeah, that's that way. Right. This way leads to... Stuff. Well, pressure press around the roof so it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> we... yep. Oh, come on. He's a little asshole, isn't he? I'm sure we'll give you that idea. Mm, Why don't we open that chest? Probably it's gonna be... I actually think I remember how to get there. 
There is a fairy who bestows prosperity. They who bring the treasure fairy and run will verily obtain prosperity. Indeed. No, don't, don't throw me off. Don't you dare throw me off. Also, don't, don't stand where those skeletons are. Of course, it's a breakable wall, right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hey, it's this crystal skull. Long time we haven't seen one of those. The Amarna acquired a colossal weapon, Atem. From his body, modeled after the sun, sprout many arms representing the sun. New life is created from these arms. Anyway, actually, you can go first. Ah. Isis. No. The mother of Horus, ruler of Yenia, Isis has the true wisdom of a mother. She's the sole member of her race to have inherited the power to revive the dead. Her wings were not granted uh, her via chimera technology. They represent the deification of the third children. Hmm. Okay then. Words of Asarwalim Nuna. Oh, sad, dumb bodied ones, do you remember? How do you like the two spiffy legs with which we have. with which we have presented you? We can totally, totally rearrange what it's like so. Strive hard, puny ones, create the land with which to welcome us. Okay then. Can I go? No, I can't go back to the left. I mean, I could just teleport, I guess. Uh, let's go down here. Well, found the gate. It's a bit hard to get to, Tom. Horus! We, fifth children, receive knowledge from the Sky People. It is the knowledge of the, of the power of the Chimera, which allows us to combine our bodies with those of other living beings to attain further power. Ra is attempting to use this power on his own race, and I have heard that he has used it to break his seals and attain the power to appear here in this land as well. Our power is no longer any match for that of Ra's. Have you come here intending to defeat Ra? That's right! Ra's final ambition is his own chimerification with an enormous weapon. It is a disc leg weapon known as Aten, which derives its power from the sun. We fifth children received it from our ancestors, who received it from the sky people before them. It is not known how powerful a chimera comprising a human and this weapon will become. Defeat Ra before this can come to be. So they technically still call themselves human specifically. I guess that's just every race they at some point. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Rule of the Inia. He is a chimera with the head of a falcon, boasting exceptional vision. His eyes are known as the Eyes of Wadjet, able to see through anything and are used as the mask, as the mark of the Inead. Yeah, the, the entry about his eyes was part of a uh, puzzle in the first game. Hmm. It was a weird thing to... Uh, the Red Jewel. I'm trying to kill them all before I try to jump over because I know they'll fuck me over as soon as I <laughs> go for it. Okay, we made it. 
Yay, shortcut open. Hey, there's one of the white pedestals. Hmm. Yep, this is the room of Dark Knight, just like Isis said. Oh. And now we need to press that one in order to probably move something else to help us actually reach the white pedestal. Uh, we'll just come back once we uh, have, you know, gone upside down again. Or is it right side up? Listen, this whole place is topsy turvy. Yep. The answer does not lie with a single footprint. No shit, that's why there's so many of them. It's almost like this is a puzzle game. Just almost. I'll use that later, actually. For now, Nefties. We Inia and our enemies, the Amarna, were originally of the same race. We split apart due to vastly different visions for the future. This caused even some families to split into warring factions. My brother Seth now considers me an enemy as well. He is a violent man. You should stay away from him. No shit. I need to come back here once we have the volume. jump. Or, you know, turn it upside down again. Either way, at least that's okay now. Hmm. The room with the five statues, huh? I guess this is where we are supposed to chant some. You know, once we can. Maybe. One and one alone survives. Yeah, no shit. The others are kinda broken up. No suspicious at all. One and one I don't survive, so. Huh? I'm out of weights! Well. <laughs> Had to happen at some point. No, well, it's a good time to heal up anyway. That will last a little bit. Hey, Gate of the Dead is front side. So that might bring us back to the question, what's back side? Probably the Dark Star Lord's Mausoleum. We did go there for a tiny little bit. Oh yeah, we can open this now. Jakku Map Street! Oh, that's convenient. An advanced version of Yagu Map, Map software. Hmm. Featuring greater details on the map. Also, now I can't help but think of Follow Life whenever that <laughs> comes up. <laughs> but yeah. There's the Holy Tablet and the Soul Gate we entered from, and all of the various doors. Yeah, it can be a bit bullshit sometimes, huh? That's platforming games. Like, Especially platforming games with enemies that have their own rules. Yeah, like, on one side there's a lot more mobility and quality of life. On the other side, you no longer have invulnerability until you hit the ground. So shit like that happens. Anyway, I need to kill those things again because otherwise they will fucking kill me. Come down here. Okay, you can at least step on the border. Of life and death? No, I'm not you, Cody. But I think that's you, Yuko, actually. Ah, uh, good point. Well, yeah, like, as soon as you enter here, it closes off, so you have to press one. 
And it's this one because of the image, because of the statues above. Mm. And that, of course, opens that chest. Which is a very good chest. Can I scan this guy? No. Majra, acquire. What does that do? This. Swing faster. And, uh, and multiple animations too. See how she's got that answering. Hmm. That applies oh, to every weapon. That. How about that? And you know, the reason why the base attack for the rapier was like that. Kill them. Now it makes more sense. I guess so. Right. And to keep going left, I guess. Oh yeah, uh, this uh, this look here. It would not be there if you hadn't talked to the dwarves that tell you about the treasure they left there. Huh. The treasure created by dwarven blacksmiths. The mechanism to it, it is hidden by the dwarves. Yep, there you go. Almost like you just said that. Yeah, I kinda got a bit ahead of myself there. But yeah, the, it, it's not a very difficult puzzle. There's a reason there's two gates right here. Now we got the super important anchor. Drop it on someone's head. No, even better than that. I'm going back to the immortal battlefield. Oh yeah, now that I think about it. Hey Mulbrook! Hey, you're back! I'm gonna set up camp here and then go do something it's waiting for a bit. If there's anywhere you haven't been yet, or anywhere you want me to check out, let me know and I'll do it. Any requests? Well, I already sent her to Anubin. So, um, Mortal Battlefield. So you're going to check out this area, got it. This place is pretty big. Alright then, I'm gonna go up, go on up ahead and see what's around. I mean, go on damn ahead. I mean, I guess she technically still went up, but oh well. Listen, don't think about it too hard. Going down. Ow. Well, I can't really open that thing yet anyway, but. Eh, I'll show the left side later. What matters now is that we can press that switch. I'm not a fuck up. Because you know, the anchor lets us just work on the bottom. Yeah, fair enough. And now we're here. Oh no. And I don't remember yeah. exactly which. Uh, Friendly fire much. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what it said, but you have to hit the statue. And that's a very good use of the right here. Thank you for all these guys. Dinosaur figure. We need that. For like stuff. Acquire the illuminating okay. ring of power. That diagram is very useful. I'm just gonna put that works too. Virtue is measured akin to the number of fox hooves. That's also a rather long term one. The mana. Closely. Oh, we have a few here. <laughs> the mana. 
flying machine created for the purpose of observation within the ruins. Larger models were once built in wartime, but only the mass-produced smaller models have been found in Eglana. They have poor functionality, bombing both enemies and allies alike. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be like a smaller version of the the two floating platforms things in the Tower of the Goddess. We had to kill two of them and that was all they ever did. Hmm. See this. A sea monster resembling a dolphin with the head of a dog. They were created via the third children's chimera experiments. They zoom through the water catching drowning animals with their jaws. Fun. Yama. You got the Yama merch. That ain't even funny. No, it's not. Yama was chosen by the local Paula to rule over the underworld. However, as a fit factional head, he didn't have the clout to avoid being cast out from the underworld. Unable to return to the underworld and his, pa and his power to watch over souls lost, he now spends his days cursing and resentment. Sucks to be him. Did we uh, get this one? I... Oh... Uh. Sorry, it just kind of... <laughs> yeah. I can't take it seriously. Of course you can't. He's an member <laughs> of the USA. <laughs> oh, that's not even funny. Hero is a part of a special rescue unit from the USA. He opened up his own shop in order to survive inside the ruins. He's actually the first person to sneak into Eglana and doesn't look like he's about to leave anytime soon. Maybe it's better not to bring this stuff up with him. Yeah, maybe. Fuck off. Double kill. Also. Hello, petrified guy. Light of time. A machine that is perpetually illuminated by an equally perpetual engine that leverages the power of the ruins. It appears to be used to keep the person within the room sealed there. And if we read the check the glossary. One of the fifth children vulnerable to light. Let's abandon his home to pursue the true meaning of words while living away from home. His body became unable to resist the light and turned to stone. If you block the incoming light for him, he might move once again. So what do you think the true meaning of words means? Hmm, probably the mantras. Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, we can go across here now. There's this place. Doesn't look dangerous at all, huh? No, not at all. The infernal fiend bites into the neck of the colossal dragon, thus binding the two together. We haven't been in either of those places. But this is called the Buried Fortress. That's the name of the room, very important. Also I messed up because now we can go down there. But I'm pretty sure that just these twice are three top. Oh well. We do have more things to do in the ice fire trip top as well, but first... Back to the immortal battlefield because, you know, we got the dinosaur figure, so we have someone to meet. Oh wait, it was down there. New message. What's that? The structure wasn't in La Mulana. Check it out thoroughly and carefully. No shit. Hello there. You're not immediately attacking me. Indra. Remember that name I mentioned before? Hmm. Was it you who raised our guardian Jormungandr out of the water? How amusing! To think that one could come all this way to fulfill our ambitions. I shall call upon the ankh of Jormungandr. Go, throw away your life, as you so clearly desire. And if you try to talk to him again... 
You are Buddha Nusans. Die! Yep. He just shocks you. But now. And apparently, summons a grenade tossing lunatic. Yeah, he just goes on the rest of the Loka Pala. So now there's an altar there. Wow, that could have gone much better. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm gonna go heal, and I hope you all have fun. And yeah, I'll see you next time. I don't Later. actually remember whether we needed a model airplane or anything. I think we still needed the key. don't remember what that was, but uh, we'll get there eventually. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Next time we'll probably go uh, use this thing. Because we do have yeah. that other boss to beat on. Hmm. So, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Wait, that's the wrong idea. Anyway, come to have fun. And see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.